Imagine walking down a familiar office hallway, the moldy smell of sweat emanating from the carpet, the constant buzz of blinding fluorescent lights that illuminate the empty space surrounding you, everywhere, except that dark corner. Something within the darkness glows, a smile that stretches from ear to ear as it stares straight at you as if inviting you to enter the darkness of the back rooms. Hello everybody, I'm Stretch. Today, we'll be talking about Entity 3, the Smiler from the Back Rooms. That is the Smilers, cataloged by the MEG. These smiley faces you see throughout the levels of the back rooms are hostile. They can be identified by, as you can see, their charming smile that showcases their teeth and their reflective eyes that gleam in the dark. They tend to reside in dark areas on levels 2 and 3, and their base is known as the Smiling Room. The Smilers are attracted to light and will chase after any they see. So the best escape strategy against them is to distract them by throwing a light source. Though they are hostile, it appears they also have their own unique rules of engagement. The entity will only attack if you panic and make sudden moves or a loud noise. So if you want to survive a Smiler encounter, do not panic. Stay very, very quiet. And most importantly, do not break eye contact unless it starts chasing you for God knows what reason. In that case, move very slowly away from it. Remember, sudden movement will get you killed. But if you absolutely must fight the entity, either out of desperation or sheer bravery, it is best if you stock up on some Smiler repellent, a type of rare liquid that we use to help combat the effects of Smilers. And as things are around here, our team resources and manpower are extremely scarce, so harvesting them is a little difficult. There have been reports of attacks by Smilers. How they attack, we have no clue, because we have yet to fully understand their mode of operation, their full body appearance, or their biological makeup. For all we know, Smilers could be sentient beings that simply harm you for funsies. It is unknown how Smilers were originally discovered, or when since time is meaningless in the back rooms. The earliest report of the Smilers was when one of the members of our exploration group talked about them running away from a glowy, smiling thing. I've met the men who survived that encounter. Well, some of them, anyway. Make no mistake, these were brave men, among the toughest in our ranks. But when they came back, the look of horror on their faces. We were exploring the first level, looking for any unfortunate wanderers. Everywhere was bright and yellow as usual. But the longer we explored, the more, I don't know, distorted the space felt. Soon, we noticed that the yellow lights were getting dimmer and dimmer. We wondered to ourselves if this could be a border of sorts between levels. Was it a sign that we were about to traverse into another space? At that time, we were more excited than afraid, eager to explore more. Then, Johnston points into the dim area ahead. Look, he said, pointing at a pair of eyes and a wicked smile glowing in the dark like a crescent moon. We stayed where we were and watched it. It didn't move, but I felt like it was inching towards us very, very slowly. Suddenly, I remembered some rumors about what the people from the Lost called the ones that smile, and it then dawned on me, could this be the same thing? Surely enough, one of us decided that we were done watching and moved towards it. Johnny. What the hell are you doing? I'll be fine. Don't worry. It's not even doing anything. Look at it. I can do this and nothing will happen. Oh, what? Ah! When I was about to call his name again, another one of us covered my mouth immediately. That damn idiot thought the smartest thing to do was to saunter up to the damn Smiler and taunt it by striking some silly pose. He got dragged into the dark area and then re-emerged. Run! Get out of here! Without saying anything, we just turned around and ran, never looking back. Even when we heard his screams, we knew that if we stopped, we would be next. And fortunately for them, they lived to tell the tale. Though I can't say the same for Johnny, poor guy was never to be found. The last thing he ever saw was a smile, shining brightly in the darkest corners of the back rooms. <laughs>